Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is Jen with Home Unis Plans and welcome back to another installment of Planmas. Uh, this is Planmas Day 18. I'm calling it Day 18 because, oh guys, you know, leave it to me to want to do Planmas every single day in the month of December and then... <laughs> course you know life happens and things get busy so I have missed a couple videos but don't worry I am planning on getting caught up so have no fear of planus will planus will continue um anyways we are doing a memory spread for the week of August 15th through August 21st and I'm using this gorgeous kit from GL Designs Group um I used to use GL Designs Group kits so much whenever I first got into this community and um they don't foil kits very often, so every time that they release a foil kit, I'm like, oh, yes, got to pick it up. So uh, she released this. I picked this up, gosh, I want to say last summer, like summer of 2021, um, and it's just, again, it was sitting in my kit binder, and when I went through and planned out my kits for the rest of the year, I was like, why haven't I used this yet? <laughs> and then, of course, like, you look through, and the format of this kit is completely different than what, like, kit format I, I enjoy using and everything, um, but I gave myself a challenge, and I was like, you know what? I love the artwork in this. I think the full boxes are beautiful, and there were pieces of foil deco, or floral deco, and I did the same thing that I did with the last spread from Nikki Plus 3, and I pulled in um, the floral collection from Paper Trail Plans. I think this was their like spring or summertime floral collection, and it just matched so perfectly with the yellows and the pinks, and I love how bright and fun this spread turned out. Like, it's just, it, it really it really just does feel like summertime and everything. I think it's so funny because I'm saying that and it's December and it's really cold outside. <laughs> Texas decided to finally cool down. Um, but yeah, I was really happy with how this spread turned out. I did do DIY date covers just because the date covers that came with the kit were not exactly my style. Um, and... I forget who I saw do the, I mean, I did the florals pretty similarly to how I did the florals for the squeeze lemon kit that I did for the Sadie sticker spread that I did just a couple of days ago. Cause I don't know. I really like that. I like the way that it looks and I feel like you can, I don't know, it, it kind of takes some of the guesswork out of decorating your date cover section. Um, and I was able to pull in the little paint swatches or like the transparent paint swatches that came with the uh, Paper Trail Plans kit uh, for my date covers. And then I added a bunch of like summertime foil deco, some garlands. I, I used the bird like mini deco all throughout the spread. I was just like, this like seagulls. So <laughs> that's what I did for the date covers. Um, in the sidebar here, I was so happy with how the sidebar came out because I pulled in these vines from Honey Inked, which I don't pull those into spreads very often anymore. And I don't know why they're stunning and I love them. And I just, I love the way that the sidebar turned out. And I felt like this girl with her, you know, nice tan bronze skin and her yellow dress matched perfectly. And I just, I, I love this sidebar, but um, anyways, Jumping over to Monday, I'm marking that I slept in and I pulled in. Okay, so I'm going to be honest. I didn't pull in any of the boxes that came with the spread or came with the kit. Um, nothing against them. It's just they're they're glittered and I don't do I don't I don't use glitter boxes anymore or like, you know, printed on glitter. It's just it's, it's not my style anymore, which is why I think I stopped utilizing um, GL Designs Group kits. Um, but I challenged myself and I love the boxes in here so much that I was like, okay, I'll at least use the boxes and the bottom washi because it's just stunning. But I ended up pulling in a bunch of boxes from my leftover sticker book and just my collection. So I, I, I don't know, just all of it. I love how the spread turned out. So on Monday, I marked sleeping in and that is a box from Two Little Bees. Uh, layered it with some florals and some garlands and I pulled in like I said I pulled in a ton of that like little bird like flying bird deco from Sadie stickers um, I marked that I woke up and fed, fed my kitties and uh, okay I marked checking on my car so back in August um, since we live in an apartment complex and everything um, someone hit the back of my car, I'm assuming when they were like pulling out of their parking space and it dented my trunk and I had to take my car in to go into the body shop and get it repaired. And I had to, um, 
file an insurance claim for uninsured motorists because it, it, I don't know who did it. I, I don't know who hit my car, but my car did get backed into, which was a whole pain. I had to get a rental car and it took so long. My car was in the body shop for like I want to say a month, month and a half, maybe. I was in a rental car for like a month and a half. And uh, I marked checking on my car here because someone backed into me back. It was like July. And I was like, okay, it's like August 15th now. I really need to check on my car. So I went and they were still like the part wasn't there. And that started like a whole saga because when I filed my claim, my insurance people didn't file it right. They didn't file it under uninsured motorists. They filed it as under just like a regular collision as if I was like accepting fault. And there was going to be like an insane price that I was going to have to pay, which I was like, ah, no, 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 no. This was not my fault. This happened whenever I was at home sleeping. This is no, absolutely not. So like that was like a whole three day battle of me, like making sure that I had what I needed insurance wise, which was just a whole headache and a half. And it was just a whole mess. But anyways, Checked on my car, had leg day at the gym, I filmed a plan with me, and then I had a bath and relaxed for the rest of the evening. Um, on Tuesday, I marked up getting up early, and I marked that with another box from Two Little Bees. That's another one of just the little fancy boxes that comes with the functional add-on. Layered that with some garlands and some more um, of the bird foil deco from Sadie Stickers. And Okay, I marked that my husband's guitar player, one of our very good friends, he got into a car accident on this day. Um, he works two jobs along with uh, technically three jobs. So he has two jobs and then he works with the band and you know he's a guitar player. And so uh, he got into a car accident because he was up at like four o'clock in the morning and he got he fell asleep at the wheel. And it's like, oh, my gosh, and it was like, uh, I mean, luckily he was OK and he got out of there with a few minor scratches. But oh, my gosh. Gosh, it could have been so much, so much worse. So I marked that. Uh, and then I marked that I was battling insurance. And I actually marked that with a little icon from a White Deer Stationery. That's an electronic bill icon. And I figured that like, <laughs> I figured that was appropriate because they tried to slap me with this huge bill. And I was like, um, excuse me. No, this is not how this works. Uh, this was not my fault. I'm not doing this. It was insane. So anyways, um, after that, I'm marking that I played with stickers and I marked that by pulling in some florals, some garlands from Sadie stickers, and then the stickers sticker, geez, how many times am I going to say, whatever, is from Crafts by Towie. Um, I marked that I had my Zoom class on this night, so I pulled in a mini uh, lace box from Bloom Paper Studio, layered it with some florals and greenery, and then the icon is from White Deer Stationery. And then to cap off the night, I did some editing. So I pulled in some florals from Paper Trail Plans, pulled in a garland from Sadie Stickers, and the icon is from Crafts by Towie. Um, on Wednesday, I marked sleeping in and I pulled in another, I pulled in so many boxes from, this is why it pays to like go through your kit leftovers and put them in a leftover sticker book because you never know when you can pull them into like other spreads. Like if you have a kit format that's maybe not, your jam anymore. You can always look through your leftover sticker book and go, okay, do I have something that I can make work for this spread? Because like I said, I love the full boxes and the artwork in this, uh, in this kit and the bottom washi I thought was just gorgeous and it was foiled beautifully, but you know, the rest of the format, what it just, it, it isn't my vibe anymore. It's not my style. So, um, I knew I wanted to make it work. And so to a little beast of the rescue, man, I am so happy. Um, okay, I marked that I cleaned the kitchen and I love that little dirty dishes icon from White Deer Stationery. I need to start pulling that in more often. It's so cute, such a cute way to mark cleaning the kitchen. Um, I marked that I had to give both my cats some meds. So we, we took we took my big boy kitty in because we think we think that this was the I think this was like the time whenever our our big kitty hurt his back. And so we were giving him medicine and, oh, no, it wasn't. Okay, so before, story time. Um, before we got Casca, there was this little neighborhood cat that we thought about adopting. And we let her get introduced to Bullet. They didn't like each other. She she was mean to him. Like, Bullet is friends with everybody. Like, he's just such a friendly cat. Um, 
but she didn't like him and so it wasn't gonna work but they got introduced and this cat had ringworm and so she this this neighborhood cat gave our cat ringworm so we had to take him into the vet and get him some medication um it was basically just like a gel or like a, a a wash that we had to do on his face, which he hated. He hated it. We had to put it on like a cotton swab and clean his little face. And uh, he was always so so pitiful looking whenever we did that. And he just looked at me like, mom, why? Um, but also when we got Casca, uh, she had ear mites. And so we had to give her and get her some eardrops from the vet. Because ear mites are very common amongst cats and everything. Um, but she had ear mites whenever we first got her. So we had to get some medication for her. So for like 10 days, I, it was a regimen. I would get up at like 7:30 in the morning. I would feed the cats. I would give them their medicine. <laughs> I would go to the gym. It was like, that was my morning. So yeah, that's what I'm marking when I, that's why I had to mark giving the cats meds. Um, on Wednesday, just finishing that off, I checked the mail cause my brother was having something delivered to our house. Um, I had a personal training session and then I filmed a pull in with me. Uh, on to Thursday, I marked sleeping in by pulling in another one of those mini boxes from Two Little Bees. I guess I don't, I have so many of those left over. Like I use one or two in a spread, but I guess I just I had a bunch left over. Um, oh, I marked that I ordered some new special effects makeup because I was getting ready and prepped for my 13 nights of Halloween because I was gonna start doing the look so that way I could have them up and just done by the time October rolled around. Um, I marked that we went to the grocery store on this day, so I pulled in another one of those transparent swatch boxes from Paper Trail Plans. Uh, the icon is from Cross by Towie. Um, I marked that we had Burger King on this night because generally when we go out and do like grocery runs, it's a long process because we only shop once a month. I know, some people are like, why do you only shop once a month? I'm like, it's just easier for us, okay? <laughs> Um, but when we do that, it makes it a little difficult to like time manage, I guess, because we're out grocery shopping for a while. So we missed dinner. So we ended up just like eating out on that day. Um, I marked that I went to the gym with one of my good friends and I marked that with a little lace box from Bloom Paper Studio and the icon is from Cross by Towie. And then to cap up the night, me and my hubby were just watching some TV. This was back in August. I have no idea what we were binging, what we were watching, but we were watching something. <laughs> okay. The 19th was super fun. This was my dad's birthday. He turned 61. I cannot believe it. He doesn't act like it. He is so much fun. Um, so to mark his birthday, I pulled in uh, a spare leftover box that I had from Miss and Meow, layered it with a scallop square box from Sadie Stickers, pulled in some florals from the kit, and then the garland is from Sadie Stickers. And then I pulled in this adorable little present icon from uh, Waitress Stationery. And of course, a bunch of foil deco. And then um, I marked getting ready because we were gonna go out and take my dad out for his birthday and just have a good old time. So I marked getting ready by pulling in some florals from Paper Trail Plans. The icon is from Cross by Towie. Uh, I marked giving, giving my cats meds because like I said, it was like a whole thing for like 10 days. I had to give them their rounds of medication. So I had to make sure I did that before we left. And then um, we took um, dad to iFly. My younger brother is a flight instructor there. It's the indoor skydiving place. And, uh, my younger brother got to actually like fly my dad, which was so fun. So cool. Um, and it was great because we got to use my younger brother's staff minutes because he can transfer those to like his family. So that was like a gift for my dad as we went, we took him to iFly, um, which was so much fun. And it was really cool seeing like my brother get to do that, like with my dad and everything. And, do his thing and my dad had such a good time and I was like, wow, I wanna do it. <laughs> but I marked taking my dad to iFly with another little swatch box from Paper, Paper Trail Plans some florals and then some garlands from Sadie Stickers. And then I didn't have like a great way to mark iFly. So I pulled in this little airplane icon from Wager Stationery and I thought it looked really cute, but I was like, I don't know if that like, it makes sense to me, whatever it is what it is. <laughs> Um, okay, then I marked that we took my dad to this uh, really awesome restaurant called Whiskey Cake, which um, I, I don't know. I haven't seen any other locations. I think there's one up in Dallas, um, but it's this amazing, like, uh, they call it like a scratch kitchen, but it's like, oh, it's so good. And they have like all kinds of different like whiskeys and everything. And they actually have this cake that they make there for dessert and it's made with whiskey. And it's just, it's so good. It's that restaurant is so, so stinking good. And it was really cool because 
everyone ordered their food and obviously me and my husband were like dad order what you want we got you this is our treat and he ordered um the pork chop which is an amazing an amazing dish there and they literally forgot his food like and that never happens there like normally they're like on the ball and so everyone else got their food and like another 15 minutes goes by and the waiter's like, hey, oh my gosh, we are so sorry. They're refiring your, the order, didn't, I guess they got confused and they didn't fire his order. And so they're like, you know, this one's on us, you know, let us, you know, we'll take this one off your bill. No worries. Cause like he was the birthday boy and they totally forgot his food. So <laughs> that was cool. So it was like a little birthday present. He got a free meal, which was great. And then he got like a free whiskey cake and it was great. So that was a lot of fun. And then um, at the end of that night, he came over to mine and my husband's place and we watched TV together because my dad's love language is literally sitting down and watching movies together. Like he loves watching movies. He's such a like and he'll pause and talk about the movies like he and I have this tradition that we do. Um well, it's like a whole family tradition where uh, on Christmas Eve, we watch the um, Albert Finney um, musical of Scrooge, which is an amazing, an amazing Christmas movie. It's like a, a fantastic version of A Christmas Carol. So good. Um, and then on New Year's, we watch a miniseries called, um, of Lonesome Dove, which has Robert Duvall and Tommy Lee Jones in it. And it's just so much fun. And it's like these things that are really important and special to me because it's like these memories that I make with my dad. He and I also love watching the movie Tombstone with Val Kilmer playing Doc Holliday. And uh, oh my gosh, Kurt Russell does such a great, great job in that movie playing Wyatt Earp and everything. And it's, oh, it's so good. And so the, these are all like things that are just memories that I love having with my dad. So it's uh, it was really fun getting to watch like TV with him and shows with him on his birthday. Um, okay, so on Saturday, I had to get up early. I had a balloon event, so, you know, nothing really different there. I did pull in that divider for, or that little flourish from Crass Vitali, Towie all throughout the spread, and I love it. I forgot how much I adore that, that flourish, and I feel like it just gives just enough pizzazz and oomph and a little bit of salt guy sassiness. And it just really pull, you know, makes the spread look cohesive and well put together. Um, I had a balloon event, so I marked that with um, the little swatch box, some florals from Paper Trail Plans. I filmed a plan with me, um, and then I capped off the night by watching TV with the hubby. Um, on Sunday, marked that we got up early. I showered and got ready. We went to church. Um, we went over to Shane's grandmother's house. Oh, I am talking way faster than I'm actually marking. Sorry. Um, I marked showering and getting ready uh, with the little icon from Crafts by Towie, um, which was great because I did pull in the flourish from Crafts by Towie as well. The little church icon that I pull in is from White Deer Stationery. That's one of my two. I need to find other church icons. I'll probably have my mom make me some. When, I'll, when in doubt, ask mom to make you some stickers, right? Right. Um, I marked that me and my hubby went over to his grandmother's house. We try and do that every Sunday unless we have other stuff that we have to do. So I've marked that by pulling in a midi box from Sadie Stickers. Oh, that's how I supplemented this kit a lot is I pulled in a lot of boxes from my collection. Um, like I said before in another plan with me, I have a ton of like colored uh, boxes from Sadie Stickers that I enjoy pulling in, you know, finding colors that match the spread and everything. The house icon is from Cross by Towie. Uh, I marked that we helped uh, one of my best friends, uh, Lacey, with balloons on this day. I think she had some decor she had to do, so we were like helping her carry those over to where they needed to go. And then to cap off the night, I made breakfast for dinner. My husband doesn't generally do breakfast, so when he make when he requests it, I'm like, uh, yeah, I'll make you breakfast for dinner, sure. So I marked that with a little mixer icon from Cross by Towie, layered it with some florals, and pulled in a bunch of foil from Sadie Stickers. These are the leftovers that I have for this kit, along with a Viv Wiggle. You'll see I pulled in a ton of extras from Paper Trail Plans. The that floral collection came in clutch for this spread. Um, but yeah, I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jen. I do planner things. I am currently in the middle of Planimus trying to get caught up. So yeah, stay tuned. We've got some more stuff leading up till Christmas. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.